Okay, sidebar, just in case you guys are like, what I are you talking about Anunnaki and these other interesting facets when you were just talking about like healing cancer and everything? That's because understanding how emotions run their course is um, just such a fundamental thing that anyone can do. So applying it to cancer, it's like, If the person is experiencing stress, you know, over years and specifically in cancer, they're holding on to some like resentment, some hurt, some longstanding, something that has happened in their life or just their general way of treating themselves. So the lack of forgiveness is what gave rise to that. Basically spoke about that in order to dissuade people from this whole sense of being negative about cancer. Like, oh, we hate it. It's like, don't hate the thing that's trying to talk to you to tell you to treat yourself differently. It's just like you relating and interfacing with your body and your body trying to talk back to you. Okay. Regarding cancer recovery, we've talked about that so much just because it's one of those major things that seems like some kind of mystery. Then all this energy goes into rectifying it via machinery when you could also just use inner technology and heal within. So that's where we're coming from, empowerment, where I'm coming from and a whole bunch of other people. So maybe you saw the video about how the methodology used to be just sort of back up halfway and then address the problem there. So you would go from, oh, let's say abundance of cancer cell, you back up to the limbic system and then you back up um, from there to the person with stress. But then you see the medical community is only backed up to like one portion of what the brain is doing. And that's just one way of managing an issue. And I don't know why they would do that in the first place. Is that like money and pharmaceuticals? Because why wouldn't you just go all the way back to the root to clear it there, the person who's undergoing stress, and then manage that aspect just as encouraging them to process those stagnated emotions would be useful. So a thought is a neuropeptide, which is a type of molecule, which is matter. And that's why people say, oh, your thoughts can create matter because you are actually doing that on a physiological level. So imagine now this charged thought that's full of like emotions that we all have on the planet. Everybody is human. And that's fantastic to have a wide range of emotions and let those emotions through, you know, safely without hurting anyone. So imagine that they're not just thoughts. You've got all of these emotions. And then imagine that, you know, we've already discussed neuropeptides, type of molecule, which is matter. Now imagine that these charged sort of thoughts, emotions, you just sort of stagnate them and, and sit on them and then just like put a wall up and then go drink your cafe latte or your booze or hamburgers, whatever people are doing. Said with love. And then... Imagine that that that's not going to affect you at all whatsoever. Of course it's going to affect you just because we, the humans, are not acknowledging that huge kind of mass of a bunch of emotion. doesn't mean that it's not going to affect you. Enter cancer, for example, because cancer is not a bad word. It's just the not processing emotions over years. Like if you do that for years, if you just sit on them for years and years, or at least a year and a half. So that's why you are encouraged to let go of old emotions, process them. And that's the whole reason behind creating videos like this, just to empower and remind that you don't necessarily need fancy machinery. You can use that inner technology and heal things yourself once you understand it. And the other point, lastly, to make is that a reminder that each you know, personality pattern forms in different organs of the body. So you're not going to have the same issue to deal with and process with someone who has gotten, let's say, breast cancer um, than with a person who's, let's say, had prostate cancer. Those are kind of two different uh, feelings or emotions. For example, um, just to clarify briefly on that, we've probably already discussed it, but again, 
you know, breast cancer is when you're really nurturing everyone around you. You're just really such a great caretaker to everybody. And then you inadvertently leave yourself out of that. And then obviously resentment builds like, you know, over time, once again, you're going to get some um, medical result. So that's different than a man walking around having different issues of masculinity that's going to relate to prostate. So you're not just processing emotions like across the board. It's really specific and you know exactly what it is, fortunately, because you just take a look at where it's manifested and which organs. So that gives you an even greater sense of empowerment where you know specifically how to heal. In closing, I know that maybe over these past years, maybe people in the past have had a sense of fear that they don't think that they're powerful enough to heal and that that's the reason for going to machinery. But once you really understand how you interface with the matter surrounding you, your body, how you with your um, thoughts and emotions and brain chemistry, how that all affects your body, then you have a greater sense of empowerment.